Hey gang, Michelle McPherson here, and in this video, I wanted to show you a little bit more about how I use Backlinks Indexer. Now, the reason that I'm doing this video is because I just sent out an email to my list about some basics with it. I told them that I'm doing this other thing, and I said, if you'd like to see a video, let me know. A bunch of people wrote back, they did wanna see a video on how I'm doing this uh, more advanced intermediate technique with Backlinks Indexer. So this is the video that everybody asked for. Um, so we've got a couple of things that you do with Backlinks Indexer. Number one, the most obvious thing that you're gonna do with this product, this software, is build backlinks to your backlinks. Why do you do that? Well, because if you go out and you build a Squidoo lens or you go out and you build a Twitter account that all link to your main, your money site, those satellite properties, those links out there will do even better for you if they have links pointing to them. So you've got links that are pointing to your Squidoo page and then your Squidoo page points to your money page. That's gonna be a more powerful setup than if you just have a Squidoo page pointing to your money page, right? Makes sense. So what we do with Backlinks Indexer is every time you go and create a new social profile or backlink for your site, you add it to Backlinks Indexer. And then what they do is go out and get backlinks for your backlinks. Now these are very low level type of backlinks. That being said, they're not supposed to be anything more than that. What they're supposed to do is to give your backlinks that you have built an initial boost in credibility to ensure that they're getting indexed in the search engines because your backlinks won't do you any good if they're not indexed, right? So that's what Backlinks Indexer is for and that's the basic use of it. However, I do something else in addition to that basic use of Backlinks Indexer and that's what I wanted to show you guys today. What I do with it is actually use it to build links uh, to my existing backlinks. So how do we figure that out? What we're trying to do now is take links that are already in existence that you may have been building over the last one, two, three months, one, two, three years, depending on how long you've had your site, and get those to have backlinks in Backlinks Indexer, right? So a link that I built a year ago could still use a boost from Backlinks Indexer. I haven't kept a record of every single link that I have built for my sites, nor do I know all of the links that may well be out there for my sites that have been built naturally just via the way that people link on the web. So we use this process that I'm gonna show you in this video to first gather all of our backlinks that are pointing to our sites and then to filter them out and then to put them into Backlinks Indexer. So the first place where we go to get our data is Majestic SEO. Majestic SEO has a free account and with the free account, you can do what you need to do today, which is pull a list of your backlinks. Now this will only work if you have control over the domain. So you cannot do this particular report on a competitor's site, but you can do it on your site. And that's all that we need to do today. So I'm gonna enter in a domain here. So we'll put in my blog, which actually probably won't have many links on it because I just switched from michellemcpherson.com to from idea to empire.com, but we'll see how it goes. Once you enter in your domain name from the reports tab, it'll say, do you control this domain? Yes, I do. I wanna create a report for it for free so I can visit the create a free report screen, right? What I need to do now, follow the instructions on the page, create an empty verification file and upload it to the root of my site. So the URL for the file should be this, and I can copy that, create a text file, and then upload it to my server. So I'll do that and I'll put the video on pause while I do that. We'll save this as the name that they wanted it to have, and then I'm gonna upload this to my server. Now I've uploaded the file to my server, I'm gonna to continue to follow the instructions here from Majestic, and I'm going to click the link, and make sure that that actually goes to the blank file on my site. It did, so everything's working right. Now I'm gonna create a report, and my report, they auto-populate the name, that's fine. We'll leave it on use historic index, and what we wanna do is create a domain level report so this is for the whole domain, not just the www and not just the index page, but all of the backlinks for the entire site. 
check the box to agree to their terms of service and now they will verify the domain and then they will begin to create the report for you. You'll get a confirmation that the report is being queued to be created and you can go over to the reports page and look there it's ready. So this particular domain appears to have 780 external backlinks from 42 external domains and now I can download that report. Now they'll give you some basic information about your links, but what you really want is the entire report to be downloaded. So you're going to go ahead and click download, download all backlinks. So prepare the download and you can follow its progress on the downloads page. Select it. And there you go. Save that to your desktop. And there are two options here for how you want to proceed. I'm going to show you the one that I use most often, and then I'm going to show you the simpler route as well. And you can choose which one you like to use. Now what we've got is a list of all of the backlinks that Majestic SEO has historically found for your site because we ran that report with the historic index on Majestic. Some of these backlinks are going to be from sites that are no longer around or links that are no longer there. So what we need to do is check and make sure that those links are in fact still valid. Of course, it doesn't make sense for us to do that by hand, so we're going to use some automation to do it. So I've opened my backlink file and you'll see that in column C, we've got a listing of all of the backlinks that are pointing to my domain. I don't know where those came from because I haven't built any links to this domain, but hey, great, they're out there, right? Now I need you to go and do a search for Scrapebox Link Checker. And the first result here is the free backlink checker from Scrapebox. Go ahead and download that. And what this is gonna do is allow you to check all of those links that you've been given by Majestic SEO and make sure that those links are in fact pointing to your website. That way, when you put them in Backlinks Indexer, you're only actually building backlinks to sites that number one, exist still, and number two, are actually pointing to your website. So once you've downloaded that and you've opened up the file, it'll look something like this. You'll need to populate two text files in here. The Your Sites text file is going to have your domains in it and you can put all of your domains in it and then every time you run links through the Scrapebox link checker, uh, you don't have to reset it. It'll just look for any of your domains on those pages that you input. So I'm going to put in my site into the Your Sites notepad and you'll put in your site there. Okay, and then the your backlinks is going to be all of the backlinks that you pulled from Majestic SEO. So I need to get those from my file here. So I will copy them, paste them into this notepad file, close it. Now I've got everything that I need there. Now I can open the Scrapebox link checker. We need to click your sites and make sure that we load it up with the your sites file and then click your backlinks and load it up with the your backlinks file that you created. So you'll need to check the check domain box. And as it says here with the little help bubble, if it's checked, then as long as the domain, which in my case would be from idea to empire, appears on the page, then it will count the link as being there. If the domain does not appear on the page, then they're looking for the exact match of the URL that I put in the your sites file. Now, I'm just interested in making sure that these sites, number one, exist and are in fact linking to my website. Whichever page on my website they're linking to is just fine. So I'm going to check that 99% of the time. That's what you'll do too. Um, but if you're doing something very specific for a very specific link building campaign, you may want to just be looking at links that are pointing to a specific page. Once that's done, you're going to go ahead and click start. And I've got 800 links in here and it's going to just go ahead and start checking them. As you can see, 
Some of these links already have not been found and some of them are found. So we know that some of these links are working, some of them aren't. So it's gonna take a few minutes to go through all 800 links. So I'll go ahead and pause the video while it does that. Now, sometimes I've found with this software that at the very end, it'll kind of get hung up. And so mine got stuck with 12 left to do. And what I did was I just hit abort because it was taking a really long time. So uh, after having run through the majority of those 800, of link, 800 backlinks, I've got 276 that are still out there that can still be found. And as you can see, quite a few of them have a 404, things like that. So those would have been, if I had put them into Backlinks Indexer, those would have been sites that um, they were building backlinks to and that were counting on my account, but that actually weren't doing me any, any good. So it's important to go through this process before you go stuffing links into Backlinks Indexer. Now, once you've got the whole list done, you're gonna wanna export it. You export the found entries. Those are the ones that you're interested in. And you can put them, let's go on the desktop, from idea to empire, checked links. We'll save that file. It's been exported. And then we can open it. Command A, Command C, that's uh, to select all and copy. And then we're gonna go back into Backlinks Indexer and actually use them. So in Backlinks Indexer, they have a free trial so you can sign up and see how it works, but you'll go to My Dashboard. It's super cheap too. You'll go into My Dashboard and then you will paste your URLs into the box. Click Add. Now, the other thing that it can do for you, and this is the second method that I said that's a little bit easier for having your links checked, is that they will actually check your links for you. If you check this box, it says enable automatic valid URL checker to filter out all bad URLs automatically before processing. Now, the thing about that is that they're only checking to make sure that that page is in a 404 or that they're not getting um, you know, a, a not found error it doesn't actually check and make sure that your link to your domain is still on that page. That's why we go through the process with Scrapebox first, because we want to only be building links to pages that actually are pointing to your domain. But I leave it checked here in case in the next couple of hours or days before these links are run, um, one of these sites goes down, then again, these links won't be in my Backlinks Indexer account, counting against my quota um, and not actually doing me any good. So once you've put your links in there, you go ahead and click add, and there they go. They're gonna be pending checking, which means that the automatic URL checker is gonna go ahead and check the links first to make sure that they're valid. Again, we just did that with the Scrapebox tool, but it'll go through it. It's just a second layer of protection for you. And then what it'll start to do is do what it always does, and that is build links to your backlinks. This is gonna help all of these links be indexed, which is super important, right? Because a link doesn't count as a backlink if Google doesn't know about it. So all of these links are going to start counting as backlinks for your site based on the work that Backlinks Indexer is gonna do in the background for you. Now I do do this for all of my sites. I want all of my sites and all of their backlinks to be indexed by Google, and I want all of my backlinks to um, get a boost from Backlinks Indexer. So this is something that I do. I rerun them every couple of months with all of my sites so that we've got the most recent data inside here in Backlinks Indexer. And then of course, on top of that, any new links that we build manually or that we know the URL of, we add into Backlinks Indexer um, by hand to make sure that those links get some traction as well. So I hope that this video gave you a little bit more perspective on how you can use Backlinks Indexer in your business, not just for new links that you're building, but on the old links that you've already done the work for. So thanks so much, Michelle McPherson again, and I will see you over at fromidea2empire.com. Bye-bye.